Grant High School football team is back on the field tonight after one of their players was killed and another injured in a Friday night shooting. That game was postponed until tonight, and KCRA 3's Mike Lurie is live at Grant High School with the outpouring of support. Mike? That's right, Dee. Right now, a moment of silence on the field, but also much more than just a football game going on here because Grant High School is grieving, and so is the entire community after a young man lost his life and a teammate injured during a shooting off campus. Now, the player killed was Jalon Calvo, who was a reserve running back from the Grant High School football team seen here last year. You can see him scoring a touchdown wearing number 27. And then, more recently, he played defense this year. He is wearing number five against Jesuit High School. Jalon, better known as JJ, was on a pregame food run before Friday's playoff game when he and teammate Malik Johnson were shot. Johnson left the hospital on Saturday, but JJ was killed. And today, football players from high schools all across Northern California. California gathered together here at Grant High to pay tribute to JJ and show solidarity for the team following Friday's tragic event. Just people just wanting to let us know that you know they're here with us, they're praying for our students, um, praying for the family, um, and just being a support and just wanting to provide those resources. And sometimes when you put enough spirits in the room and you have the right energy, something magical can happen, and we're hoping that's what happens today. The football community has really come together in this show of support today following a crime that is still unsolved with no one in custody. The community hoping that those responsible will be brought to justice. Now the game is just about ready to get underway. You heard the principal mention about something magical happen, and in fact that is likely to occur on the very first play. We're told that J.J.'s mother will bring his jersey, that number five, out onto the field in a symbolic gesture. The team will then line up. Grand High School will run its first offensive play with only ten players, one short of the minimum or what's required, of course. They'll draw a penalty, but symbolically they'll be there to support their fallen teammate, who of course could not be here tonight. Reporting live at Grant High School, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, a nice way to honor his memory. Mike, thank you.